Hello, my name is Ethan Gambrell, student physical therapist at South College. Um, today I'm going to be performing a video assignment, and I have my little sister Emma here to help me out. Um, is it okay if I record you for educational purposes only? Yes. So, hello, my name is Ethan Gambrell, student physical therapist. Um, I'm going to be here helping um, evaluate and treat you today coming in. Um, I know you just had come out of your surgery not long ago um, for your knee replacement that you had here on the right side. Um, so at, with surgery and things like that, um, we just always want to be cautious, you know, before we get you up moving around a lot and things. So what I'm going to be doing before we really get into things is I'm just going to be checking some bottles, uh, checking your pulses and checking your blood pressure um, not in lay, while you're laying down. And then we're going to get you up into sitting as well as standing and just checking all those and make sure there's not any drastic changes in it. Um, from one position to the other. Um, just make sure your blood is all flowing correctly and that your body is maintaining that all correctly when you're moving around in different positions, okay? Um, before we get started, is it okay if I, you know, place my hands on you to take pulses and do things like that? Yes. Okay, great. All right, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna lay this feet belt over here for later. Um, and what we're gonna do, um, I'm just going to come around over here. Um, also, for the video purposes, my patient is wearing socks with grippers on the bottom uh, for when we are up into standing. We're just going to be placing this blood pressure cuff first. So the first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to be performing a technique called radial obliteration. Uh, what this is, is this is basically just giving me a good estimate of where I need to start the blood pressure reading for you. Um, it kind of helps give me a better idea so I don't over inflate the pump or anything like that and cut your circulation off or anything, okay? So, um, and again, before taking any measurements, typically in supine we would be waiting around five minutes to make sure the patient is stabilized and things like that. But for video purposes, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, as well as for the pulses, um, for all pulses, I'll be doing those in 15 second intervals. Um, in a normal situation, I would do at least 30 seconds, if not a full minute. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing first is I'm just gonna be palpating here for um, your radial pulse, and I'm gonna be pumping up this cuff and getting a reading for your, um, for radial obliteration. Throughout this whole, any of this, if you have any sort of um, lightheadedness or dizziness, things that I mentioned before, just let me know. All right, so patient's pulse is actually um, obliterated around 110 millimeters of mercury. So what this means um, is I'm just going to be adding around 20 to 30 millimeters for my starting measurement. Um, so for this patient, I'll be starting the measurements at around 130 millimeters of mercury um, at each reading and then slowly letting air out to um, get the full reading of their blood pressure. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to go ahead and take your pulses first to give you just a second before we get started. So I'm just going to let air relax. So in the first 15 seconds, I felt um, 17 beats. So um, we're gonna multiply that by four. Um, so I would expect this patient's blood pressure to be, or beats per, their heart rate to be around um, 68 beats per minute. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on into blood pressure here. And I'm gonna be using my stethoscope here to palpate um, for the brachial pulse. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. starting our reading at around 130.
So initial reading in supine, the patient had a blood pressure of 112 over 78, um, which we would expect to be normal. So what we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be getting you up into a sitting position. Um, from here, just let me know if at any point you feel any sort of dizziness, lightheadedness, any of the symptoms that I said, you feeling okay so far? Yes. Okay. Um, typically, we would be waiting around one to two minutes before performing more um, readings, um, but for time purposes, I'll be going ahead and getting started. Um, what I'm gonna do first though, is I'm gonna go ahead and put the skate belt on you and move your IV line around um, so that we're in a better position for once we get you up safely. Still feeling okay? Everything feeling all right? Good. Feel okay to sit there by yourself? Yes. Make sure you just raise your arms up for me just a little bit. Get you stuck here. Great. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, um, this time with pulses again first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be sitting right here. What I want you to do is I want you to just lay your arm right here. We're gonna to try to get everything um, as close as we can to your heart level as that is proper positioning. Since we are in a hospital bed um, scenario, the patient would not have a back um, what we would want. Patient's pulse um, within 15 seconds was a 19. Um, so again, we're gonna multiply that by four and should give us a reading of around 76 beats per minute. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna proceed with the blood pressure reading here in sitting. So what I'm gonna do, again, I'm just gonna be um, putting my stethoscope here. And again, I want you to go ahead and put that arm up on my shoulder so we can get a, a, as accurate of a reading as possible. Okay. Go ahead and pump this up. And again, using the radial obliteration number from earlier, starting around 130. So in sitting patients, um, blood pressure was 116 over 80, um, which is again, um, considered within normal limits. Um, we had no significant drop. Um, are you feeling any sort of symptoms? Are you still feeling okay? Okay. okay. Great. So what we're gonna have you do now is I'm just gonna keep guarding your hand, go ahead and have you stand up. Okay. And typically, again, we would be doing this for around one to two minutes to make sure the patient is stable and doing okay. Um, are you doing fine, feeling any symptoms, anything like that? Okay, great. So we're gonna go ahead and take pulses first. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm just gonna go ahead and let you lay your arm down to the side there. I'm just going to be palpating for your pulse. 15 seconds again. Okay. In 15 seconds, patient's pulse was around 20. So what we're gonna be doing is multiply that by four giving us around uh, 80 beats per minute for heart rate. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and perform blood pressure again. All right, what I'm gonna have you do is just go ahead and place that arm up on my shoulder again. This will try to keep the arm close to, as close to heart level as possible. And again, we're gonna go ahead and do another reading.
Uh, patient's blood pressure reading was 116 over 80, which again is within the normal limits. I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit down for me. All right, we'll go ahead and continue with the rest of it. Thank you very much for your cooperation.